Diversity in medicine, medical diversity, you hear it all the time, but in this video, I'm gonna break down what it really means, why it matters, and what's going on, and what you need to know, the ultimate truth about diversity in medicine. Here we go. But stop making excuses, stop whining, stop, right? Get at it. No excuses, just dominate. What up guys, I'm Dr. Andre Pines at The Study Doc. As always, I'm here to help you guys be better students, be better pre-meds, and just in general to make this world a better place, right? Should we be educated, informed, and empowered? Yes. So today we're talking about diversity in medicine. It's a big hot button issue. Every single year, we make a big fuss about we need more diversity, we need more black doctors, we need more Latino doctors, we need more doctors of color, we need more doctors from disadvantaged backgrounds, we need more medical diversity. We say it, and why do we say it so much? Because we know that diversity medicine helps patients. It helps our healthcare system run better. It is better for everyone involved. However, despite us recognizing the importance of it, and despite us saying we want diversity, the reality is we've made very little headway in terms of increasing diversity and increasing opportunities for disadvantaged students. And I think the biggest problem is that we are so focused on creating awareness of an issue that everyone is aware of, right? Everyone understands that there's a lack of diversity in medicine. Some people think it's not important, some people don't value it, other people do value it, but us thinking one way or the other way about it is not gonna change anything. What has to happen is that we have to create opportunities for these diverse students to overcome the problems that come with being a diverse student. We can't sit here and act like we don't see color, like there aren't different student experiences. As a student of color myself, I can tell you, my pre-med experience, going through higher education, going through medical school was rife with moments of discrimination, was rife with moments of difficulty that were triggered by the color of my skin. I'm not saying this to have a pity party. I'm not saying this to say whatever. I'm saying to understand that there is a differential experience for students of color. And if we don't do a better job of addressing that differential experience and making that experience a positive one, we will never see diversity increase in medicine. And I think that some of the things we've done to do this by creating you know, communities and having people be seen online, that's all great. But the biggest issue that we face, right? We talk about imposter syndrome. That imposter syndrome among students of color is powerful, it's profound, and it's a real thing. But the only way to fix imposter syndrome is not by showing other people of color who have been successful, it's by showing that student they can be successful. And we have to do that, right? To do that, we have to show them how to go from where they are, where they are actually inadequate, where they are actually an imposter, where they aren't able to perform at the highest of levels of education. How do they go from there? to being able to perform. So my argument, right, if we are going to change diversity in medicine, if we are actually gonna make an impact is that we have to stop just showing these students successful people of color. We have to show them the exact steps that these people have taken to be successful. In my case, I was told to change my major from biology into African-American studies, and that I wouldn't graduate college, and that I wouldn't get into medical school. And when I heard that, and if I tell you guys that, you're like, oh man, that's crazy. And then if I followed it by saying, oh, I got into Stanford Medical School, and I graduated top 5% of my Stanford Medical Class, you'd be like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. I can do it too. And you feel good for a minute. But if we're being honest, what do you really say to yourself after that initial high wears off of, of hearing someone who's like you, and then was successful. You say, like, oh, well, they must've got lucky. Something must've happened. Well, that doesn't apply to me. How we bridge that gap is that I break down how I did it. Starting with the fact that I recognize that just because I am a student from a disadvantaged background, just because I do look different than everyone else, I do belong, I do have a place, and I have to forge my place and show them that I belong. So I recognize that first that, listen, I don't belong, I don't fit in, but I'm gonna show them that I belong here. And to do that, I have to put in massive amounts of work because I truly am disadvantaged, because I truly am not like them. So because I'm not like them, I have to work differently. And I got to work grinding, making sure that I always outworked everybody. And with that process, I educated myself on what it took to be successful. And so for me, I'll tell, I tell everybody, you wanna be a successful college student? You wanna get into medical school and you're a student of color? You've got to learn how to study and study well, study efficiently. Because if you were gonna sit here and struggle your whole way through and think affirmative action is gonna move you through the meters, it isn't. No one cares about your blackness. In fact, the opposite, people don't wanna see your darkness persist and succeed in higher education. So what you have to do is become Become competent, become proficient. And when you become that competence, you will develop 
confidence. And that confidence will allow you to stop feeling like an imposter and actually start being someone who belongs there. So does that make sense everybody? I had to change my perspective and say, listen, I do belong here. I gotta make myself belong here. I gotta get to work and I was working hard. And then I was educating myself and informing myself so that way I could become competent. I have the knowledge base to deliver and actually study at eye level, get the grades, get the opportunity and succeed. And so as we talk about medical diversity, guys, we've got to stop talking about it from a show me perspective, like a tell me perspective. We got to talk about a show me, show me how you did it, not just show me where you're at. Because all this posing, all this stuff of showing people in white coats, it does nothing to move the meter because people don't know how to get to that white coat. Do you guys understand what I'm saying right now? It's very important and people are gonna see this video, they're gonna be a little confused by it. I wanna be perfectly clear. I think it's a great, I think it's great that people wanna be seen and that we are showing students that even no matter where they come from, what they look like, they can be successful. But the year is 2020, guys. How do you not realize that a black person can be anything they want in America? Obama was president, right? If he can be president, you can become a doctor. So we recognize this. We we see it everywhere. There's plenty of people out here posing in white coats. But the real step to make a real difference is to actually empower and educate these students on what it took to go from where you started to the white coat. We can't just say, I struggled, now I got a white coat. No, 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 no. How did you turn it around? How did you improve your grades? How did you get opportunities? How did you succeed in research? How did you do well on the MCAT? We've got to lay down the roadmap, guys. Build these bricks to get these students to medical school. That's what I'm saying. And so I just want everybody to understand, if you're serious about diversity, stop shouting it. Stop putting up posters. Stop posting memes. Instead, educate yourself. Change their perception of students of color, become competent, succeed, and then don't just say, hey, look at me, actually grab people and show them what you did to be successful. That's gonna uplift students of color. That's what we gotta do. That makes sense, everybody? All right, that's all I got for today. I'm Dr. Andre Pineset. Like I said, I'm here to uplift students, to empower students, to educate students. If you are ready to step up your game, to get more informed, to get more educated, I want you guys to get to my website, studenttransformation.com, get into a course, get into a coaching program, and level up. If this is your first time here joining me, whether you're on the YouTube channel or the podcast, take the time to subscribe. If you're on YouTube, take the time to subscribe and turn on live notifications so you know when I go live, when there's a new video. I thank you guys so much for joining me. I will see you next time. How do we always end these videos? No excuses, just dominate. See you guys next time. Today is the day, guys. No more excuses, no more complaining. You're going to take your future in your own hands. You're going to dominate. You're going to be successful. Get to my website, studenttransformation.com. I challenge you. What are you going to do today to make your life better?